hammer a nail into the wall. So, what is the use of friction here? Do you think any use of friction? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, what is the use of friction here? Sir, he's the uh, he's pushing the heavy box aside. No, not the heavy box. The second diagram, where we observe. Sir, like, uh, sir, like you're asking, what is the luxury one to do this activity? Yeah, here, see, you can see a person is trying to hammer a nail into the wall. Yes, sir, it is uh, useful because we can uh, make the nail go inside the wall and we can hang some, like, any floors or frames like that. See, the, first of all, Sir, the surface of the wall and the surface of the nail. See, if there is no friction, then we will not be able to put this. This nail could not be fixed in the wall. The nail is fixed in the wall. It is only because of friction. If there is no friction, so even if you uh, if you push the nail into the wall, so then after that it will come out. It is the friction which stops the nail from coming out. So friction is good for uh, for this activity. A nail is fixed in the wall due to friction. See, there are different activities which have been listed. Like you could not write with pen or pencil if there were no friction. When your teacher is writing with chalk, so you have observed when someone writes with chalk on the board. So you, so when a, uh, when someone writes with chalk on the board. If there is no friction, so you will not be able to write. We we'll observe that the particles of the chalk, they are there on the blackboard. Okay. So the particles of the chalk, they come on the blackboard. That is also because of friction. Only. Had there been no friction, so the particles of the chalk would not be there. Okay. They will not... Uh, break up and stick to the blackboard. You got it? So all this we had seen, the worn out shoes here, the shoes get worn out because of friction. The burning of matchstick, we are able to burn a matchstick because of friction. Okay. So friction is useful for us also and it is also harmful. Okay, why the friction is useful? We have seen different activities. Like I told you, you will not be able to tie a knot. You will not be able to uh, button up your. You will not be able to button up your shirts. So your shirts button, all of them, they are working only because of the presence of friction. We are able to walk because of friction only. Okay. So that is why we say uh, friction is a necessary evil. So for today, we have the topic increasing and reducing friction. Sir. Yes. And so friction is useful and also as well as it's not useful, like in some cases. Yeah, friction is usable and also it is something Absolutely. Absolutely. yeah, it is something undesirable. Okay. So it's like it's uh, just like uh, you have some friend in your classroom. Yeah. Okay, you hate him, but you need you need to get some help from. Him. Without his help, you can't do anything. So it's just like that. Friction is just like that. Yes. You hate him, you don't want to talk to him, but there is some work which can be done only with his help. So that is what is friction. So friction is a necessary evil. It is necessary for various activity and it also harms us in a number of ways. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Now, okay. increasing and reducing friction. So there are various life situations 
where we may need to increase friction and there are situations where we may need to decrease friction for example we know friction is necessary for walking right all of us know that friction is necessary for walking yes yes we know that yes, friction is necessary for walking so that means sometimes we need to increase friction while uh, while walking if there is less friction then we need to increase friction so that is why if you observe the shoes of athletes so the athletic shoe soles they have a uh, they have special grips provided on them soles of the shoes and tires they are traded to increase friction some tradings you can see here on this uh, shoe sole a shoe sole has been shown here so this shoe sole it has some tradings on it the tradings of the shoe sole they increase friction see here these grips have been provided on shoe soles specially to increase friction why sir uh, we should not slip uh, on the ground yeah so that it will not slip since friction is necessary for walking also an athlete athlete shoes so just let me show you athletes shoe soles Just let me show, show you some athlete shoe soles, how the soles look like. So see the grips that are provided, the specialized grips which are provided so uh, to avoid slipping so that they won't slip. Uh, we have some running shoes where you have some spikes are also provided. In the soles, some spikes are provided which will provide a better grip. So those are your football shoes. So, they have some special grips. See, can you see here some uh, spikes are provided? See all of the <laughs> here. See some spikes are provided. So these spikes, they help us to increase friction on the ground. And that is why the player will not slip off. Here football, uh, football shoes, they are put. The football specially designed to have spikes in them so that uh, the spikes will get uh, themselves into the ground and there will be less, um, there will be high amount of friction so that the player will not sleep. Okay. So, have you understood about this? Where do we need to increase friction? Yes, sir. Yes. About the tires. The, there are tires. The tires are provided with grips. Okay. Just one minute. Okay, so see, uh, these were the shoe soles. Now we see the tires. So here you can see, observe the tires which are shown. They have grips. So these are the grips which are provided on the tires. These grips, they avoid the tire from slipping. They provide a better hold on the road. Okay, there are many other situations where we may need to increase friction. Okay, can you think of any other situation where we need to increase friction? Yes. Can you think of any other situation where we need to increase friction? Fighting. Yes, Lasya. Where writing, do we need sir. to? Writing. Okay. While writing, we need to increase friction. So that is why your paper is not made too smooth. If your paper is made very smooth, so just slippery, so you will not be able to write over there. 
any other situation uh, generally if you see the holding of the pliers okay uh, the holding of the pliers or anything which we hold on so they generally have the grips are provided over there on the pens also even on pens the grips are provided to have Sir, a better holding yes if the ball if the cricket ball is wet to why if it is a, a free, we then we need the friction sir yeah in the cricket ball also they need to increase friction that is why if the ball is being used up okay so if the if the ball is being used up so then only uh, then it will Uh, the amount of friction will be uneven. Over there also, we need to increase friction to provide a better grip to the baller. On the bat, okay, just say the bat, bat handles. Do the bat handles also have grips? Yes, sir. Yes, the bat handles also have grips. So those grips also help in increasing friction. So that the bat will not slip off. These are the grips which are provided on the bat handles so that your uh, the bat will not slip off from your hand. Okay. Sorry, you have to have. Pens also yes. we have grip. Pens. Where? Yeah, pen. Yeah, in pens also. That's all what I said before. So you, your pens also are provided with grip so that the pen doesn't slip off. Got it? So there are various cases, various situations where we may, may need to increase friction. And there are various situations where we may even need to decrease friction. Can you think of the situations where we need to decrease friction? See, for example, this carom board. We spray powder on the carom board. While playing carom board, uh, carom, we, play, uh, we spray powder on the carom board so that whatever powder uh, if we spray on the carom board, the powder will form a layer. It will form a slippery layer between uh, tokens and the board itself so that there will be less friction. Got it? Varshit, have you understood? Yes, sir. Uh, Varshit, can you tell me certain situations where we may need to decrease friction? Sir, for ice skating, we need to decrease friction. For? Ice skating. Okay, for ice skating, do we increase friction or decrease friction? Okay, Sai Karthik. Yes, uh, sir. Yes, Karthik. Yes, uh, Sir, we need to de decrease uh, friction for even carom, sir. Okay, Excuse we me, decrease sir. friction for carom. Any other place? Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, I got a network issue that just rejoined, sir. Could you explain again what did you say? Just okay. get over it before. Okay, okay. See, Pet Gagarin we was talking. saying about pen grip, sir. Yeah. See, sometimes we may need to increase friction and sometimes we may need to decrease friction. Right? So, there are different ways of decreasing friction. So, for decreasing friction, we have studied here the carom board. If we are using the carom board, so we use a powder spray. We spray powder or sprinkle powder on the carom board to decrease friction. Yes, sir. So, the powder forms a layer of slippery object between the board and the tokens to make them move. Hence, decreases friction. Now, other situations where we may need to decrease friction. Can you think of other situations where we may need to decrease friction? Yes. So, I did got your question. Is there any other situation which you can think of where we may need to decrease friction? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, so, where? So, like just uh, clicking the pen. Clicking the pen. 
yes sir like uh, the click pads we won't use much of force like only less force we use like the friction we use only less sir okay have you seen ever uh, ever a uh, Ever a person oiling a cycle? Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Oiling a bicycle chain, oiling the. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, lubricants. Sir, even yeah, no. like uh, the swing, sir, at home swing. Yes, we use grease. We use grease and other lubricants to decrease the amount of friction. So there are various methods by which we can decrease friction and there are various methods by which we can increase friction. Sir, to I decrease, have an example. To decrease friction, we, uh, the very important method is conversion of solid friction into liquid friction. Like oiling and greasing is a very important way of decreasing friction. So when it happens that sometimes the cycle starts making noises and it is very hard to bicycle it. So in that situation, we oil the remove, oil the moving parts of the bicycle. What happens by oiling of the moving parts? Yes, what happened by oiling of the moving parts? That moves smoothly. Yes, Varshit? Sir, it moves so smoothly. It moves. Uh, sir. Okay. Moves. Oil. Mm -hmm. Sir. Yes, Taran. Sir, uh, if a door is making a noise, means that hinges will be there, no, sir. Yeah, the hinges are there, and the hinges, uh, there is some problem with the hinges, so you should put oil in those not. hinges. Sir, that will come under friction, right, sir? Yeah, that is under friction only. So you can decrease friction by oiling the hinges. Okay. Another way is use of the ball bearings. Have you seen ever ball bearings? The fidget spinner. Yeah, a fidget spinner. Very good example. A fidget spinner. So ball bearings are a method of de uh, decreasing friction. Sir, merry go round. Okay, very good. Merry go round. Anyone else? See, ball bearings, sir. they are also they are also used in bicycle. See where the where they are used in bicycle. See here. You have your wheel, and inside the wheel you have the ball bearings. Okay. So these ball bearings, they are properly oiled to re reduce friction. See here in this picture, they have used some lubricant also. So here you, you use some of the lubricant. See. Some lubricant that is grease is used here so that there will be less friction between your wheels and the axle. Okay. So sometimes if your if your cycle starts moving hard, it is the time to reduce friction. It's the time you should go for checking for the ball bearings. You should go for oiling and greasing of the vehicle. Sir? Got it? Yes. Uh, why, uh, like how these ball bearings make friction less, sir? Okay. We're, uh, just now we'll be talking of static free, uh, sliding friction and rolling friction. Okay. We'll now talk of sliding friction and rolling friction. So. Then I will going to know why these ball bearings reduce friction, sir. Yeah, the reason being that the ball bearings, they convert sliding friction to rolling friction. Okay. Okay. So the, now you understood why I was talking of sliding friction and rolling friction? Okay, sir. Yes. Yeah. So they are converting the sliding friction to rolling friction and the use of grease and oil here, it converts the rolling friction into the fluid friction. Okay. So you have fluid friction over there, the use of fluid friction, it makes it more smoother. Okay. It makes it easy to spin. It makes it easy to move. Got it? Anyone having any other doubt? No, sir. Okay. So see here, in your book also, you have been shown 
the use of ball bearings. To decrease friction, we use the ball bearings or the lubricants. So what do the lubricants do? They form a lubricant form another fluid, uh, flowing layer. It's not a static layer. Another floating, uh, floating layer between the two layers and hence reduces the friction. Yes, uh, Sai Karthik. Sir, even skating shoes have ball bearings, sir. Yeah, even the skating shoes, they have the ball bearing. Okay, here a perfect example and activity has been shown, which you can try to do at your home also. So, what do you see here in the book? Uh, a picture of book and? Color pencils. Yeah. So, what, uh, what are we trying to do here? We are rolling the book on the color pencils. Yeah, so we are rolling the book on those color pencils. So do you think that it will be easy for the book to roll over? No, sir. Okay, which one will be easy? Will it be easy for us to slide? Okay, uh, let's say, let me give you a question here. Depending on this, let me explain you an example. You have a heavy Almira at your home. Okay, so you, uh, as you know, Al Almira is very heavy and it's very difficult for a person to pick it up and move from one place to another. It's big also and it's heavy also, right? So suppose I want to move this Almira from one place to another. What are the steps that I can take? We can roll on something, sir. Like wheels, wheels. We can put... Okay. See, if you try to push this Almira, if I try to push this Almira just like this, so it would require a greater amount of force? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what if the Almira had wheels? It will Yeah, if the Almira had wheels, so it would be very easy for us to move it. Why? What is the reason? What's the reason? Sir, I did got your question. Could you explain again once? Yes. See here, we are discussing about rolling friction. Okay. Rolling an object and sliding an object. So you have an Almira, which you want to move from one place to another at your home. Okay. So one way is that you, you try to push it, which will be very hard for you. And you may even... Uh, Take it a fall. You may fall off. Yes, sir. Or the Almira even fall off. But what about if the Almira had wheels? Sir, it will be easy to move. Yeah, if it has wheels, so it will be easy to move. So wheels reduce friction. Okay. So the difference between wheels is that when wheels are working, the friction that comes into play is the rolling friction. The wheels are rolling on the surface. So when you have wheels, wheels reduce friction okay here when we are just trying to move it like this the friction that is between the two surfaces we call this friction to be the sliding friction when one object slides or tends to slide over another surface then we call that friction to be a sliding friction okay so this friction is a sliding friction then what is a rolling friction if, a, if an object uh, rolls over an object, uh, such as wheels, it is called rolling. Yeah, if an object rolls over another object, so we call it as the rolling friction. Now, we, we have clearly seen that rolling an object is easier as compared to sliding. Yes, we have, we have just seen here. So, with this example of the book, we have taken here at the example of the book. So we are making, we are trying to make the book slide. We are trying to make the book move. So what happens here? If you are, there is one way we have used rollers. We have used our pencils as the rollers. And now we want to make this book move. Okay. The other way is that we are using, uh, the other way is that uh, if we just try to slide the book. Okay. If we just want to slide the book on one surface, 
so there will be large amount of friction between the book and the table okay so the friction which is there between the book and the table that friction is now sliding friction and here it is the rolling friction out of sliding friction and rolling friction it is the rolling friction which is less and it is the sliding friction which is more got it yes sir yes so so this topic was wheels reduce friction when we use wheels the wheels reduce friction so the reason being that when a wheel moves the friction that comes into play is the rolling friction and when we try to slide one object on the other then we have the sliding friction you can assume a bus without wheels or okay can you give me a reason why it's uh, difficult to move a vehicle with flat tires Sorry, i don't you know yeah, gagana uh, what do you mean by flat tire sir what do you mean by a flat tire uh, uh, like no air there yeah, no, no air, air. yeah so why it is difficult for us to move a vehicle with flat tire sir it will skid yeah what happened sir uh, because it the vehicle will skid sir it sir? will skid no sir because it increases the friction see if you have flat tires then during the flat tires it is not the rolling friction it becomes the sliding friction friction increases when the tires become flat so the friction increases and hence it is difficult for us to move the move the object and when it is a rolling friction you have a good air pressure so during this situation it is difficult it's easy for the vehicle to move as we will be requiring less amount of energy because over there it will be the rolling friction so always the rolling friction is lesser than the sliding friction understood everyone the difference between sliding friction and rolling friction yes sir yes sir yeah so yes, charanti uh, charanti what is sliding friction sir sliding friction mm -hmm. means uh, when we so for suppose we take an uh, car it moves because of the sliding friction sir okay uh gagana can you explain what is sliding friction so uh, like a, how will a, a, when an object slides sir okay when one object slides over another surface then we have then it the increases friction. the friction so it is called sliding friction no it doesn't increase friction the friction which act between the two surfaces when one surface slides over another surface is called a sliding friction and what is the rolling friction when an object rolls on another surface it's called rolling friction yeah when one object rolls over another surface so the friction that comes into play the friction that works is the rolling friction okay okay sir okay anyone having any doubts okay see it's very good to see that all of you are participating i can see everyone sir, i have a doubt sir yes yes sir yes. i have a doubt sir yes yes sir i have a doubt it like it is a decreased friction Okay, so what is your doubt? Let it uh, just just stop. Like, mm -hmm. like, I just understood. Okay, so, my network mind. was bad, sir. That's why okay. I was not able to hear. Okay, never mind. We will discuss that again in the next class. Sir, sir, my ball bearing. Yes. The short, sir. My ball bearing. Okay, ball bearing. What happened to the ball bearings? Uh, uh, how ball bearings can reduce friction see when the ball bearings are used so the balls start rolling between the two surfaces okay so it is the rolling friction which is working and when you do not use the ball bearings so it will be the sliding friction 
So, of course, we have seen that the sliding friction is more than the rolling friction. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So, bye all of you. See you again in the next class. I'll repeat everything, whatever we have done in next class also. It's okay. nice to see that all of you are participating. Only a few of you, like Amatur, did not reply anywhere. Amatur? Yes, sir. Please reply at any, uh, everywhere. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay, bye. Bye, all of you. Thank bye, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank sir. you, sir. When we are going to start PSM? Uh, which one? PSM book. I yeah, yeah. So just, uh, I think, after the, just this topic will be starting. Just this one. Okay.